Good morning and welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and I'm coming to you today from my studio in Orlando, Florida. The birds are singing, the sun is out, and it's getting hot here already. It's basically summer. Um, today I want to talk to you about a technique that gets the most uh, uh, excited reaction when I teach in person and that is the alcohol resist technique. As you know I hand paint all my own collage papers and I do that to prevent fading. Initially I did that to prevent fading because the papers that I was purchasing at art supply stores were fading. When I decided to hand paint my own collage paper what I didn't realize was that the papers that I would make would be far superior and far more beautiful to anything that I ever was able to purchase. So over the last 10 years I have been perfecting, experimenting with, and creating new techniques for painting hand-painted collage paper. And when I teach in person, I get reactions from students and I know which techniques they really get excited about. And so the one I'm going to teach you today is really the one that it takes the most practice, but once you get it down, it is one of the ones that gets the biggest ooh -ah reaction. It is a great technique. It is alcohol, rubbing alcohol resist. I am going to show you how to do it. You're going to have to practice with it, but once you get it, it's going to be one of your favorite techniques. So welcome to my garage studio space. It's awesome out here because I have a great big table and I have a lot of natural light, but I live in Florida, so it's only awesome for a little while. When it gets to be August, it's not quite so awesome out here. <laughs> but today it's lovely. The birds are singing and the trash man has already passed by, so hopefully we won't have any peripheral noise. But even if we do, the information is what matters. So today we're going to talk about the, uh, the rubbing alcohol resist technique. So what I have is my collapsible water bucket. I use this, um, I travel with it because it goes down and can go into my suitcase. And then I also use it in the studio. Um, it accordion folds. Um, so I love this product. Um, I've got about a inch and a half uh, soft bristle brush with my water. Um, I've got my golden fluid acrylic. So I've got turquoise thalo. I've got quin magenta. I've got permanent violet dark, uh, pyrrol red, and thalo blue green shade. I've also got um, drugstore uh, first aid aisle rubbing alcohol. This is 90%, um, 70% will also work. And it's in a glass uh, eyedropper container that I use to drop it onto the paper. And um, these, uh, these are on my Amazon uh, art resources page. These are great. Um, I love the dropper and the glass bottle. So, so I've got rubbing alcohol in there. And I've got some paper here that I uh, created with my gel press. So I used my gel press printing plate to just do solid colors for this um, demo. And these are light colors. So you can see I've got sort of a light yellow green, a pink. Um, slide this up. I've got some uh, yellow orange here and some teal over here. So I'm going to use this as my, as my sheet. Um, on the other end, this is just an old architectural floor plan. Uh, here I've got some nice light yellow and some light orange. So... <clears throat> This is um, not absorbent paper. It's not rice paper. It's uh, it's just basic white paper. You want to do this technique on something that is not going to soak all the paint right in. So you don't want to use rice paper, but you can use book pages, uh, sheet music, found papers. You need to experiment with the kind of paper. If you don't get the results that I get, then you want to do change three things. Change the paper, change the color of paint you're using, color of paint or paint combo, color combo, change the amount of water. So either add more water or less water, switch out your paper or change your color combo. Okay. So these are light colors and they are dry. The bottom layer is light colored and it is dry. I am going to mix up some paint um, on a paper plate. I'm going to add the water just from the brush. So let's start with the, uh, let's start with this uh, thalo blue and we'll put it over this green area. So we'll slide down to the green, green, blue area. So I'm going to put out, um, I'm using the fluid acrylics. That's important. I'm going to put out a little bit of the thalo blue. I'm going to take my 
accordion water bucket i'm going to add a little bit of water with my brush it's not an exact technique science so you're going to have to experiment with it but see i've added some water to the fluid acrylic it's a little watery and i've chosen a color that is darker than what is on the bottom so this is light colored and it is dry this is wet and watery and i am going to brush it over the top working quickly because it's warm out here there i've given myself a wet and watery and while it's wet i have to work quickly while it's wet i'm going to take my eyedropper my glass eyedropper with my 90 percent alcohol and i'm going to drop it into the paint and get these great little amoeba like resistant circles isn't this fun and isn't that cool that's a definitely an ooh ah reaction so a couple of different things happen at this point either these stay crisp droplets and that's awesome or if you have too much water the water pushes out with the alcohol but then because there's so much of it it flows back in and obliterates your circles if that happens you need to try it again with less water if your alcohol does not move the paint at all that means the paint is too tacky there's not enough water so you need to try it again with a little bit more water and then if you don't see the contrast well enough that means you need to go lighter color on the bottom and even darker on the top so that's a an, an, an uh, example of changing the color so that's looking really cool and I really like how that looks and so um, I could call it quits here but let's um let's get another paper plate and another color and let's go over this uh, pink because I I like the pink and I think it could be cool with some um, Quinn magenta over it so let's go over some of the yellow and some of the pink that's what's nice about this sheet that has multis on it so whoops my plate just kind of lifted that up I'm going to brush this over the top of two colors wet and watery while it's wet I'm going to then take my alcohol and I'm going to again once again drop it into the wet paint on top and then what shows through is what's underneath so you could get very creative with what you put underneath rather than just one solid color you could have stamping and texture plate rubbing and splattering and so the more interesting your lower layer is that's what shows through so here we've got two colors showing through and um wow i really like that and this got i lost my centers a little bit because i put my paper plate on it but that's looking really good so that is the alcohol resist technique paper painting should always be fun and if you want more techniques for painting paper i have an online evergreen it is open for enrollment and you can start at any time mono printing for collage paper